This here is a Learndash My Account page. Since I'm using the WooCommerce to sell the courses, I also have a WooCommerce My Account page. I would like to merge them in a way that all my orders and courses are in one place, in one dashboard, and if I log in, I will automatically be redirected to my courses page. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If you're interested, then jump in. Now, in order to keep this tutorial short, I assume that you already have installed uh, WooCommerce and learned this and, and you know how to use them. I assume that you already have uh, at least one course and at least one product to connect with the LearnDash course. That's what you're going to use to sell the courses. Now let's start with, from the beginning. As you see, we have a lots of endpoints here and there is one I don't need and the one is downloads. Therefore, I'm going to remove it. To remove the WooCommerce endpoint, go to WooCommerce settings advanced scroll to the downloads and delete it i also don't need the payment methods therefore i'm going to save it refresh the page and there it is orders addresses account details and logout since i need the learn dash courses endpoint to be shown up here i'm going to need to create a custom endpoint for it in order to do it, go to Plugins, search for Code Snippets, install and activate it. In this tutorial, I'm going to provide you a couple of code snippets you should use in order to accomplish all that. If you don't like to use a Code Snippets plugin, add those Code Snippets to the Functions PHP file. But uh, I prefer this plugin. Now, if the Code Snippets plugin is installed, you'll see the Snippets menu on the left. Click on Add New. Give it a title, for example, Courses Endpoint for WooCommerce. And now paste this code. You can find this code in the description of this video. Now some things for you to point out. This one here represents the URL of the endpoint. For example, if you want the endpoint to be My Account Courses, then add Courses here. If you would like it to be my courses, then add my courses here. I'm going to leave it to courses at the moment. Next one, scroll a bit down and give it a title. I'm going to give it the title, your courses. Also add the your courses title here. And last one, add the your courses also here. Now we need to add the learn dash profile sh short code and this one goes here the short code is ld profile if everything is done click on save changes and activate refresh your page your courses appears here but if you click then oops that page can't be found error is visible it is easy to fix go to settings permalinks Scroll down and save changes. Now refresh your page. And your courses appears here in a way you see it. Next thing I need to do, I need to move this endpoint a bit higher. Therefore go to snippets, add new. Give it the title, for example, change WooCommerce endpoint order. And now paste here the code snippet which also can be found in the description of this video this one here some explanations here is the order of the endpoints first is dashboard you can rename it if you want next one is courses pay attention that this endpoint url should be the same as you added previously you can give it the name once again and other ones are orders edit account and log out only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Let's refresh it. And there it is. Dashboard, courses, orders, edit account and logout. 
Next thing I need to fix is the login. For example, if I use a modal login on my site and I'm going to log in, I'm logged in, but I'm not re redirected to the courses page. What I want to do is I want the user to be re redirected to the courses page. Therefore, go to snippets, add new, give it the title, re redirect to my account or whatever you want to rename it and paste this code in the code box. Now pay attention to this URL here. I want to redirect them to my account and courses. Now pay attention that this redirection works only for the users who are not administrators. If the user has some other role than administrator, then he or she will be redirected to the courses page. So if you're going to test it out, then create a user with a subscriber role and uh, test it with that uh, account. Otherwise, you, you will be confused with a question that why it's not working. Now choose only run on site front end and save changes and activate and let's, let's test it. Once again, login and works like a charm. Now see what happens if I want to log out. If I click here, I'm going to be logged out and it will redirect me to the my account page. Maybe I want the users to be redirected to some other URL. Therefore, once again, go to all snippets, add new, give it a title and add this code. I'm going to redirect the user to the home page. Let's see how did it work. Choose the only run on site front end, save change and activate. Now log out and the redirection worked well. Next problem. If I'm logged in and I'm going to click the edit profile link on the learn dash profile, I will be redirected to the back end. I don't want this to happen. Therefore, I'm going to fix this also. And once more, go to snippets, add new, give it the title, for example, redirect learn the shaded profile and add this code. The URL, I want the user to be redirected is my account, edit account. Once again, only run on site front end, save changes and activate. I'm going to refresh. And if I click on edit profile, I'm going to be redirected to this page here. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to customize the my account page a bit. You can do that with the Elementor or Gutenberg editor. I'm going to use a Gutenberg and I'm going to use a plugin called Cadence Blocks. If you don't have it already, then go to plugins, add new and search for Cadence Blocks. Install and activate it. And now you can customize the My Account page. I have made a full tutorial how to customize the My Account page. Therefore, I'm going to keep it brief. I'll put the link to this video to the description of this video. Also, you can find it in the info card of this video. But short overview. Open your My Account page. Now it depends on your team what you can do, but I'm using the Cadence team, which is awesome. Therefore, it allows me to disable the page title, disable the sidebar. I'm going to disable the vertical padding. And now if I update it and view the page, it looks like this. Now I'm going to add another block. It's going to be row with full width. I'm going to add the background and the title and also four blocks. So I'm going to skip this part and uh, I'll show you the en end result. Well, there's the end result. What did I do? I created a row and added the page title and the background. Now I added another row with four columns. I, had, I added a negative margin of 120 pixels to lift those four blocks up. In order to add the links, 
I'm gonna click on the box and that this links my account orders. It, it's a endpoint address. If you want to know what is endpoint address, go to WooCommerce settings, advanced, and here are the endpoints. Now I just need to reorder some things. For example, I'm gonna add this one here and name it courses and the endpoint is gonna be courses. I'm gonna change the icon to the list. Now orders is gonna be here. Edit account here. I don't need the addresses. Therefore I'm gonna remove it and update it. If I refresh it, there it is. If I click on courses, the courses will open up. There is one thing I don't like though, and this is the native My Account sidebar. It is easy to remove. Just go to the appearance, customize, open additional CSS and paste this code. You can find this also in the description of this video. Just copy and paste it, publish it. Now if I'm gonna refresh, well, there it is. Courses, orders, edit account, and logout. One more thing though. Since I don't want these four boxes to be shown to the logged out users, I'm gonna add a rule here. So let's choose a row layout, visibility settings, hide from logged out users. If you save it, then the end result will be what you're seeing right now on the login and the register if you have enabled it. Now let's make a final test. I'm going to go to the front page, login, redirection to the courses page. It worked. I can open up the courses. Since I'm using the Cadence team, those endpoints are automatically added here. I, am, I can go to the courses from here, orders, account editing. If I need the address editing option, I can add the, another column here. But since I don't need it, I'm not going to do it. And logging out. As you see, WooCommerce is asking me to confirm whether I want to log out, there is an easy fix. Since I don't need the confirmation to be asked, I'm going to add another snippet. Go to the snippets and add new. Give it the title, for example, disable woo logout confirmation and paste this code. Save changes and activate. And let's test it once more. I'm going to refresh the page. Click on logout and no confirmation was asked and I'm redirected to the front page. Well, as you see, we managed to merge the two account pages into one in a way that uh, you'll see all the courses and all the WooCommerce orders. And the end result is that for the end users, it's much more easier to use. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and you will be the first to be notified about the new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.